for overalls. Morning. <laughs> Good morning to you both. Yeah, don't need overalls here this morning, actually. Have a look at this. This is the world's most powerful aircraft engine. It's uh, the GE90, and it goes inside the Boeing 777 now. It's made by General Electric, and I'm in their engine overhaul plant in South Wales. Uh, you can see behind me some of the uh, lads who are working in their overalls this morning. I don't think they trust me underneath that engine. Uh, but this is a firm that's doing particularly well at the moment despite the fact that the manufacturing sector as a whole is really struggling and we can talk now to uh, uh, Jeff one of the bosses here good morning to you good morning Jeff. just uh, why is the business doing so well at the moment our, our business is doing extremely well at the moment it's based on the fact that we um, export around 84 percent of our engines with over 90 customers worldwide and we're very focused at the moment in the, the regions of the Middle East and Asia which are growing and healthy so we're focused in those regions as well as serving Europe and North America so it's the emerging markets that are particularly helping? Very, very much so at the moment. That Middle East region especially, we're seeing great growth there and we're very focused on our customer in that area. We are in the middle of a recession though. How does that impact your business if it does? Well, we're in a, a very good position strategically. As a business 10 years ago, we decided to focus on fuel efficient engines. The number one cost for our customers is fuel. So by them focusing on engines that we serve and overhaul, i.e. fuel efficient engines, hence we don't see the recession hurting us as much as other businesses. Okay, thank you for your thank time you. this morning there, Jeff Kennelly. Well, also with us, we have Gareth Jenkins, who's from the EEF, who have some research out on manufacturing this morning. Good morning. To you, Gareth. So this research is saying that uh, three percent of firms have seen their orders increase, just three percent in the last quarter, compared to seventeen percent the quarter before. Why do you think there's such a big fall? Well, I think the numbers tell their own story. To be honest, that um, you know the, this subsector that we're visiting this morning is obviously doing very well, but there are other subsectors of manufacturing are struggling. You know, the metal industry has seen a significant downturn in the last nine months, and therefore the overall picture is as you have described it. How do you get things moving again? How do we get these companies to do as well as the other ones that are? Well, I think uh, central government's got a big role to play here. That um, you know, We're trying to balance the economy by having a bigger manufacturing sector. This was identified three years ago, but I've never been convinced about the central government strategy for growth, and we need 100% capital allowances for a fixed period, and we also need to do something to stimulate uh, the employment of young people by some sort of national insurance break. There is uh, an argument that would be saying that maybe we shouldn't be focusing as much on manufacturing and we should instead be doing the services, which is a much bigger part of our economy. What would you say to that? Well, I think this is what got us into trouble in the first place. I think an unbalanced economy is, is what has given rise to the recession. And therefore, we need, as a country, to cut our dependence on financial services. And it's no surprise that every successful country has a strong manufacturing sector. Any optimism for us? Oh, there's always optimism. You know, if you look at the employment figures, they're holding up. Investment is holding up. But we need to do more. This is a very capital-intensive industry that employs a lot of people. OK, well, thank you very much for your time this morning, Gareth. I will be here throughout the morning um, and uh, hopefully getting to go inside there, if the lads will let me. I've got my steel cap boots on, if you want to have a little look but just missing the overalls and one of those hard hats. But I'm going to track one down and have a look underneath the engine a bit later. But for now, back to you both. Very fetching. Thanks very much. See you later, Steph. Brilliant. Steph, thanks.